But it wasn't about this car, right? It was about getting to a job, about getting to school. Poker is just a vehicle. And it's a vehicle that's going to help mm -hmm. us bypass and get to these skills that are going then going to help us, you know, I keep saying that, you know, the difference between where we want to be and where we mm -hmm. are is money. Yeah, and always. poker is a way to practice being at the money table. And mm -hmm. that well, that is where we get gender equality when we have money equality. And um it's scary, right? Mm -hmm. It's scary for women to to have those conversations around money, especially if they're not used to doing it. We have we don't train them anywhere to really do it. I mean, heaven mm -hmm. forbid it's even, you know financial classes, just basic stuff that's in every high school, because it's not. So how do we get them there? How do we build the confidence? And so, um, you know, we didn't start with schools, but we're in a lot of schools. Like yeah. Kellogg was one of our first that we're with. Um, they've been amazing at doing it. And now we've heard about like girls are actually interviewing and saying, I want to come there because I heard you're doing this poker. That's so cool. Right? So there's so many opportunities for us to do it. And, you know, you can play poker at age seven, eight, like you can do it really young and like versions of poker, even younger. So we're super excited about getting it in. So it's not even a thing, right? I always say, if I hadn't taught my daughter at 14, if I had tried at 16, she probably wouldn't have listened. Mm. And like the truth is college girls really tough to teach because nobody else is doing it. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's kind of awkward. Like there's always a few, right? But to get the <laughs> others you know, it's still, it's still an unknown. It's not, it's not normal for them to go and play. And then by the way, we teach our corporate women, they come home, guess what? None of their friends know how to play. Mm -hmm. so well, there's a lot of layers to building up to a place where we can have women feel. Yeah. Well, and I think it's like, it's, um, so many of the, you know, women that I, um, you know, I'm friends with, even in the, you know, in the FinTech space, they'll, when we get together, you know, we're talking about money, no problem, right? Because we're in the space. But we even will share how, okay, but when we hang out with our friends outside of the fintech or finance realm, you know, it's there. It's like, how do we get that money conversation to them and, you know, have it over brunch? You know, maybe, maybe less discussions. I mean, we can still talk about, you know, whether that guy was really six feet tall from the hinge app or whatever, or we could talk. That's <laughs> or, right. These these are the discussions happening at, at right. some of my brunch tables, or we can talk <laughs> about you know money and like and is the salary that you're getting you know enough? Can you can should we how do we negotiate that? Mm -hmm. Some of the ways that my per friends personally have ever experienced sometimes their first raise or their first negotiation was because we brought it up at hanging out right. as friends. Absolutely. No Absolutely. one else is talking to them about this. And it's kind of like it does feel crazy when you're in the space. Um, so it's like putting that out there and getting it to girls younger, you know, getting it's like it does feel a bit like almost like girls who code, you know, but like poker power. Um, yes. You know, how do we get more of these programs into schools and and how do we get women to be confident young like, at a younger age? Because um there is there is i think a level of confidence as you know for for women as as they're growing up but then i think you're right that in the college entering mm -hmm. the workforce realm is where if i'm just pulling from my own personal experience yes. that's where i like my confidence just went skyrocketed down mm -hmm. from just like maybe nerves of entering a new place yeah. nerves of entering yeah i'm entering the finance reporter realm where it's like the industry I'm reporting on is male dominated and the industry I'm in in media is male dominated. So, um, but all of these like psychological things happen to us as we're, we're growing up and unless you kind of come together as a community and do something, learn something, expand your mind together. Yep. Then, and that for me is the third pillar of what I do. You spread awareness, you share the blueprint, you create your own blueprint for success, and then you bring others along with you. That's right. The, um, you know, and, and because poker, it, poker is sort of great in many ways, because it's edgy and it's different and it's, yeah. it's really eye opening. Right. But at the same way, it's tricky. And, um, for people to understand like, wait, I should be teaching poker, you know, in, in, right. In, I think in the last couple of months, there was, there was press and, uh, you know, a couple of big papers about women should be taught golf and, and companies should teach, should pay that to pay them to, to learn to play golf. 
which I, I actually kind of love the idea. That being said, it's a hell of a lot easier to teach poker. So you come into peak six today, every single female and male if they want, but really obviously our goal is for females because usually males know how to play. Um, I shouldn't say that. It's not t- totally stereotypical, but if they want to, they can learn. Yeah. Uh, they are taught poker. And when I sit and I talk to CEOs, there's, you have an obligation if you want to have, I mean, because ultimately it's all, we all know it's proven, right? You have a diverse workforce. You are going to be more successful. If you want a diverse workforce, you have an obligation to teach people who aren't taught certain things. Mm -hmm. Don't give me, you know, I don't need another, you know, wine night and another, you know, whatever it is. Right. I, you know, I can ax throw once. I don't need to ax throw. (laughs) Like teach me, <laughs> by the way, I'm going to have fun. There's something really fascinating too. We found, so we've been doing a lot of tests because obviously more and more people know poker, but with our senior teams playing poker together, men and women, obviously, or, 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 um, or however they identify. And it's been fascinating for both sides and for, you know, our, our CEOs and, and their senior leaders to play and what they learn about each other playing this game. And it completely opens their eyes from what they've done before. And so we've been thinking about this idea around women, right? When they in t- when they come into male dominated spaces and they end up having male mentors, I don't really want to go to lunch with you. I don't really want to go to dinner with you. And I really don't want to have coffee, but what if we talk about poker? Uh-huh.